Um, my question to you, let's assume we could go back in time. What would you have prioritized differently regarding education and university to better prepare for such days off campus? Thanks very much for, uh, for this question. Uh, and thanks very much for organizing this, by the way. It's great to be present here. Before I uh, will dwell a little bit on the question you asked me, I, I, I got a re request for uh, Anna. Can you send the letter that you sent to your government to mine as well? Because the points <laughs> coincide. It's, uh, it's virtually the same. All right, back to the question, people. Uh, what would we have done differently in respect if we could go back in time? Um, I think it's, it's, it's important to understand where we come from. Um, Campus-oriented uh, education, even though in Delft um, we uh, have been quite ac active in the world of online education, the MOOCs. Um, we have started some 15 years ago taping quite a few uh, of our general lectures. Uh, hence, uh, we had quite a lot online available uh, and could kind of overnight shift from on campus to online teaching. But what we hadn't anticipated, and I'm afraid most people hadn't anticipated, that uh, community building in, a, in an online world is much more difficult than in the physical world. So if I could have gone back uh, to December last year uh, and understood what was coming, I think we would have paid much more attention to uh, make sure that we build a community with all the students that are now scattered around, although it's a small city, but they are scattered around, they're trapped kind of in uh, their, their houses and dorms. Um, and what I hear from my weekly talks uh, to the students that um, it is really, really difficult studying from behind the screen. Much more difficult, I guess, than we anticipated before we actually did it at this scale. Um, I think that we all need to conclude that although all these online uh, things that we have and how great they are and what the progress they have, at least my wiring hasn't followed that at all. Um, I'm wired with wiring, I guess, thousands years ago developed, 10,000 years ago. I'm just not fit for constantly working uh, inside a computer uh, into my screen. So that community building is something that we really, really need to, uh, uh, to develop further and, and bring it to uh, a much more human level. And that would, to me, um, mean that if, if you would go back in time, we had, uh, should have prepared our teaching staff for online education, but also our students. It is not the same um, sitting behind your screen, no matter what you use, whether it's a Zoom or whatever, it's not the same. And I constantly hear students, and may I call it complaining, how difficult it is to keep motivated, how difficult it is to start nine o'clock just at a regular lecture and how motivating these classes are, even though we all complain that they are too big, too many in class, but it is motivating. I also think that, um, there is a danger in being completely online in uh, losing what I, the German word, word described that the best, Bildung. Um, higher education, if not all education, is much more than bringing knowledge from a teacher into the head of a student. It's much more, especially at, at the age of our students. And I think we should, uh, if I would have gone back, should have paid much more attention to that. And finally, it was already mentioned in some of the uh, Q and A's, um, online exams is much more difficult for students as well as for staff making them, preparing it and, and running them. Um, for one, we had not anticipated that there are quite some students now sitting at home with a not that great internet connection, making it much more difficult. As long as you're on campus, that's all fine. And you all, uh, we all started to realize that you're at home, it's not that great. Um, so, so those are the things that I, I, I would have loved to be, uh, um, go back in time on and, and do better. Now, of course, the list is very long. Project work, how do you do that? How do you do that when you're not able to be on campus? Thesis projects, you can do part of them, change the topic as we did, more to theoretical or simulation, but some of the students really need the fancy equipment that we have. You can't replace that by a screen. Um, so going back in time, I'm not sure whether that would have helped, but absolutely uh, community building, uh, making sure that students and teachers find ways of communicating throughout their lectures, throughout the day, 
um, in an as normal as possible way would have helped us a lot. Um, it's a pity that we didn't see it coming. And in retrospect, that would have uh, would have been great. Those are the, the, the main points that I see now where that we are two months uh, uh, and a bit in the Netherlands on the way in our lockdown.